When this detention center was built in 2010, the technology was with the times. As the world outside continues to evolve, the facility is trying to keep up with new tablets for the benefits of inmates and their families, for their development, and for their entertainment. When I first started, it was handheld phones on both sides of a very thick glass. And then we went, you know, technology came in and we went to video visitation, which is our older system. And now we've upgraded to this. So, I mean, we've gone from having face-to-face -to, -face to they can be halfway around the world. I mean, it's an amazing upgrade. Not only can inmates now text and video chat with their loved ones, they have access to legal resources, ebooks, games, movies, and more. Chief Deputy Cody Scott says because of the tablet's features, it gives them access to more family members, uh, and I think that helps uh, with with the mental health of the, the inmates to be able to to you know have that conversation and see those family members where otherwise they may not be able to. Inmates have access to the tablets from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. For every six inmates, there is only one tablet. It's available to all the inmates in the facility, um, you know, as long as they're not on any type of um, disciplinary restriction or anything like that for, you know, facility behavior or something like that. The upgrades came last month and so far have proven to be safer, more sustainable, and more accessible. There's also a, a, a legal component to it where they can look up uh, laws and things like that, which is also where we're required to offer that uh, by the state as well. So with all of those components involved, uh, I think it helps keep the inmates more uh, busy. Uh, and with less time to, to cause issues for the staff or, or deface the facility. Their new devices are closely monitored and considered safe for use. These upgrades come at no additional cost to the county. Reporting from Lubbock County Detention Center, I'm Elizabeth Fitz with KLBK News.